getting um, shot number two. Um, <laughs> this time it is apparently we're going to get them in the car. We don't have to walk the mile through the maze and everything. So, um, yeah, um, this is uh, an, quite the ordeal. Especially I got behind somebody who couldn't understand English. So the police officer who was directing traffic had time telling them, you know, turn left, go down to the second stop sign and turn right. <sighs> people, people, people. But boy, the maze, I'm going to show you um, here um, in a little bit the maze that I was driving through. Now I'm in a total different maze. So, um, I'm going to turn you around and show you here, if I can here. Yeah, so we are driving along in a maze. I didn't know there were this many cones in Texas, but uh, I guess the cone making company is doing uh, quite well now. Um, so, yeah. So, we have to sit through this. In the maze um, nothing like being lab rats even in your car huh all right I'll check in with you here in just a little bit Wow what a f <laughs> just see this this is what we have to do to get there. Now I really do feel like Skinner's rats. Do y'all remember that from Psychology 101? Now we're having to drive through a flipping maze just to get to the site. Or maybe it's Six Flags. Remember how you had to go through the lines at Six Flags? Yeah. All right, so here's what we're driving through to get the shot. All right, I am sitting in lane number five. <laughs> uh, and I'm behind the Catholic Charities bus, the um, nice fireman told me to come to this lane. He said behind the bus and uh, Asking me if it was a short bus, <laughs> and he laughed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have to sit here for, or stay in this lane for 30 minutes. Um, this time, before the shot, they asked me, um, you know, because I had to check yes, that if, you know, for one of the questions, because of uh, my immune system. And I explained to them about the medicine I take. And they said, okay, so they wrote it on my windshield. They coated me a green, I guess. Um, and tell me the time that I can actually leave. <clears throat> but this time, uh, they asked me if I had any uh, allergies to shellfish or sulfur. They didn't ask me that last time. I find that interesting. So is this a different dose? Different than the first? I mean, is it a different ingredients? Um, inquiry minds would like to know. I can take these off here. Um, I told him yes, sulfur, because I am allergic to sulfur drugs. Uh, I've had that since I was a child. Um, But I find that interesting. I also find it interesting, not only last time, but this time, it says on the form they want your your insurance information. And they make, any, um, if not, you just have to put your driver's license. Well, you have to turn into them your insurance card and your driver's license. And, but it's at no cost. So why do they need my insurance card? 
And do all the states, you and other states, do you have to give them your information and they have to make a copy of your insurance card? Why do they need that if there's no cost? So, um, I'd like to know the answer to that. Anybody have that answer? I don't know. So, uh, yeah. So, the shot this time uh, was a lot less painful than uh, the last time. It hurt last time when he jabbed me. And this time, I didn't even feel it. So, uh, I didn't have to get out of my car. Now, I am <laughs> getting a little tired here because the sitting for a prolonged time, oh, we're going to move, <laughs> does hurt the, uh, is a little hard on the sciatic nerve that I'm trying to uh, get unbound by all my physical therapy. So, uh, yeah. So, it looks like I have another 16 minutes to sit here. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to turn the radio on and listen to some tunes. Got the windows open. And um, I'll see you later. All right, here's another observation as I'm still sitting here because I have about three more minutes. But the short bus in front of me still hasn't gone. So, by the time they get done, I may be able to go. I did not once, once I got in here, haven't had my mask on. It's right here. They all had their some. Um, which is fine. None of them got within, you know, three, four feet of me other than the guy giving me the injection. But now here's the, the, the thing that I find so humorous <laughs> is that there is a lady in the car behind me. And so she is in this same lane. So she has to do the 30 minute thing as well. And she's been sitting back there by herself in the car with her mask on. I see people <laughs> driving down the road in cars by themselves all the time with the mask on. I just had to bring that up. All right. And like last time, I stopped and got me a treat. The yogurt, fro the Brahms frozen yogurt twist in a cup low fat I'm sorry you shouldn't talk you don't talk with your mouth full <laughs> or chew gum in public <laughs> my mother was always oh my goodness you just don't do that <laughs> so it's something yeah so all right so I will um, I'll let you know if, if I'll come if I'm not feeling good tonight or something I'll come on and and I'll let you know how I'm doing if not I'll finish this vlog tomorrow letting you know how I'm feeling <coughs> after the vaccine oh and another important thing the officer the police officer who was at the head of the line making sure that everybody stayed to uh, their appropriate time uh, wasn't wearing a mask. So, yeah. Just wanted to throw that in there. So, alright. See you later. Alright, so um, this is the next day uh, after getting my second um, COVID uh, vaccine uh, shot. So, how am I feeling? I'm feeling fine. Um, my shoulder is a little sore. I did notice they did it this time way up here, up here. And before they did it way down here on the um, fattier part of the arm. So, uh, but it is a little sore, but I mean, you know, it hurts when I move it a little bit, but you know, I just keep rubbing it a little bit and you know, it is what it is. So uh, I haven't had any issues. 
I uh, didn't have any issues last night. Uh, now, on the other hand, my daughter, she got her second shot at work yesterday. And she um, she sent me a text message last night that she was not feeling well. She had gone to Bible study and was just, she got home and she said she just felt so, so bad and was hurting really, really bad. So I told her to take four Tylenol and go to bed. And um, she sent me a text message this morning that she didn't um, feel like walking, that she was still hurting really bad. So, um, so she's has not fared as well as I have on the second shot. Now, I, and she hers was the Moderna as well. Now, she had her first shot a week after I had mine. So, I don't know if it's because they did hers a lot quicker. Um, so, that's interesting. I don't know. That's another one of my questions I'd like to know. You know, um, she works at a... Uh, now a um, a dialysis center as a tech, and thank goodness she was off today because um, they work. She works Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, but she does fourteen hour days. So um, yeah, so I'll keep checking on her throughout the day and see if she needs anything. But yeah, so uh, so far I'm feeling fine. So, um, so I'll end this little vlog right here. If there is any updates, I'll, I'll post it, but I'm not expecting any. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I'd love to hear your comments down below. If you know any of the answers to any of my questions that, uh, I have, I seem to be full of questions, but, um, uh, it is what it is. So, and you know what, there'll be a whole, the rules will change tomorrow. I've found out that the, the information on um, this whole vaccine thing is, or what they call a vaccine, is um, sort of like the Texas weather. Wait five minutes, it'll change. <laughs> So, all right, ladies, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me and letting me share my story of this, uh, of this process with you. So, until I see you in my next video, ladies, remember, get up and show up because you are worth it. See you later.